Okay guys, in this final video of making the tray, the wooden carry tray, I'm going to show you how to make a set of workshop drawings. So that we can take the drawings that you've made into the woodwork room and also put them in a folio of work for your school presentations. And this is great if you want to get those really good marks in the HSC, you can actually create your own set of drawings to show the examiners what you've done. Okay, so what we'll do, I'm just going to save this work now and we've got a wooden carry tray down here. We're going to go up and from this we're going to create a new drawing from design. And I've already created a short template and a template that you guys can use. Um, and I've you can either create one from scratch or you can download, and I'll leave this in the comment section and the description in the video below. Um, so you can download that. So we're short drawing template. And we'll just do an over, overall drawing to start off with. Okay, so we've got our design here. I'm just going to close that. And we might have to go in and edit some of this um, template because it's picking up every single piece. And we really don't want to show all of that in this drawing. Okay, guys, so what we want to do, we'll just delete off the uh, sheet like that and we can actually add our own, our own blank template in, in a little while so first what we'll do we'll actually just expand this out so we we'll edit the view uh, and we'll change this scale let's make it a little bit bigger so let's make it about one to four okay so that's a good size close that and we'll just drag that around a little bit so we have our overall design here and I'm just going to edit the view again and let's just make it see through so we get all our hidden detail showing up. Okay, so we can sort of see where we're at with that. And let's just come up with some dimensions here of the overall size. So we have our, we're actually drawing the top view from that corner to that corner is 480. And then we have our width from that corner to that corner there is 324. Okay, so we're getting our overall sizes on this first sheet. We can actually do the height. So let's just do a height from here to here. It's 30 and let's go from here to the top there is 39 and a half. Okay, so we get a good, good overall view of that. Uh, next thing, what we do, well, let's create a new a new drawing. Okay, to create a new drawing, we're going to go up into the wooden carry tray, and this time we'll do the end piece. So let's just click end piece one, and we'll create a drawing from that. So right click on it, and we're going to create a drawing, and we're going to go into the untitled sheet that we've already just made and we'll add that piece in. So that now creates, we now have two drawings in this sheet here. So it says sheet two of two. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the base view in. First of all, we might rotate it to the side view. So let's do a right side view. Okay, let's do left side view. because I do wanna see the, uh, let's have a look at this. So we've got our left, so we can sort of see the hidden detail there in the front. We get the most view of that. And then we'll, let's just tra transform this. We'll make it one to, Four again, the scale this, or even one to two. Yeah, make that a bit bigger. Okay, okay, go right now. What we'll do? We expand this out. So let's click on one there, one there, and one there, and go okay. And we'll right click on this one, edit view, and make that a shaded close. And we'll come back to this in a second because we're going to put some dimensions on this so we know what we're actually making. Go back to the wooden carry tray again, and we'll do this side here now. So we'll go create so we've got side one, create a new drawing, and it goes into that short drawing template. I'm going to go into untitled, go OK, comes up with a third, and let's make this one to three. It's quite good. Now let's just turn it to the back view. So we can sort of see, yep, so now we get all our D 
detail in that. And we can actually project up. Editing that to give it some shading out there. Or even make this a scale a little bit bigger. Let's make that one to let's make it one to two. Okay. And that's in the right spot there. So now we have that. And it's good. Let's go back into carry tray two and we'll do the handle. And let's create a drawing from that. Create a drawing in the untitled. Okay. And I want to do the front, I want to do the bottom view. And let's rotate that if we can. Okay, just place that in there. Bottom view, and then we'll extrude that out or expand that out to so one up there. Not happy with that orientation actually. Is there a way to move? No. Transform. You can't rotate or maybe modify. Rotate. Select objects. Uh, let's make, rotate that around 90 degrees. Is that going to affect the other pieces? Yeah, so let's delete those out. Now let's extrude, extrude that out. Okay, close that. Now let's go back in and actually we'll just make this a little bit bigger by modifying that again. Changing the scale one to one. Okay, that's good. Now we can go back into our overall dimensions here, which we have the first one. Next one, we'll just hit the dimension tool and we'll start editing the dimensions by adding some dimensions in. In our length, we have our height. We know the, uh, this area here, what we've got to do, 12 millimeters there. And we know that this one here from this point to this point is six. Might delete that actually and just do that one again. So I really wanted to stand off, so we'll start it from that point to that point. And that gives us a gap there, which is what we want. Looks a bit better. Okay, and what else? What other dimensions can we put on here? Let's do the width. So 12, okay. And our next piece, do the same. Dimension, we have our height. We have our width. And we have our length. And handle. Let's just escape out of that. This is where we can use a chain dimension or a baseline dimension is kind of good. So we pick our baseline and then we have our dimensions like that. Okay. Makes it a bit easier to read 
or a chain dimension is similar. So use our base dimension here. Then we have one, two, three, four. So we can use just delete these ones here. Okay, and we can probably add in some other the fillets. Radius time fillet. Okay, and there's one piece we haven't done is the base as well, so we can just add that in as well. This last piece, we'll just do the base, new drawing, or create a drawing. Okay, guys, now what we'll do, we'll actually edit the front, the first page, and we're going to add in our tables. So we're going to do a custom table. We won't use the automatic one because we've got so many parts in there at the moment. Okay, and what we'll do, we're just going to add, put it, place it in, and I'm going to drag it out a little bit to fit into the, the space we have. Okay, and that's how the start of it. So what I'll do, I'm just going to edit the rows, I'm going to delete this first row because we don't actually need that. And we're going to do a parts list here. So let's type in a number or part number, a quantity, a length, a width and thickness, and material. And okay, then what we do, we're going to do type in part one, which is the Base, part two is size, part three is the other, the end piece. We can add in some more. Let's actually go up here and edit. We'll add a row on top, add a couple more rows. Part four, part number, let's add in a row actually as well. So let's in, you know, put a row in here. So we're going to add a edit columns. Let's add a column in. Place that in the corner, name. We got our base. We got our end pieces, side piece, handle, quantity two, there's uh, one base, two end pieces, two handles. Length, width, thickness is uh, we've got for our side piece or our handles is uh, length is 120 times 80 times 19. Side piece is uh, 483, 30 high times. This next piece is uh, what is the size of that piece? We have 324. No, it's going to be, let's go back to the drawing here, just have a quick look at it. 312. 312 by 30 by 12. And the base is 468 by 312 material. It's kind of all going to be the same. Oh. Okay, let's 
Earth is still going to try and bring these in a bit. Okay, and there is our final drawing. So we can actually export that out now as a PDF. Let's try that for this video. Thank you.